Welcome back everyone to another LibGX development tutorials. In today's video, we'll be discussing Scene 2D UI basics. Let's get started. First, I just want to say big shout outs for those who voted for Scene 2D UI basics in the comments. I thank you very much. Hopefully we can cover as much as we can so you guys can understand on how to create your own scenes. First, in order to create a scene, you need a couple of components. You need a stage, a table, and an actor. So first in the create method, we want to initialize a new stage. We can do so by using the new stage and then inside the stage parameters, we do extend viewport. Now feel free to use the viewport that you would like to use for your scene. For me, I like to use the extend viewport, but there also is the screen viewport, which we pass in the graphics within the graphics height. After that, we set the GDX input processor to be the stage, as you can see here. This right here makes sure that our actors are being updated whenever a input event is fired on them. In the resize method, we get the stage, we get the viewport, and then we update with the correct width and height. Then we set true to center the camera. And inside the render method, we call geo clear and geo clear color to set the background. Then we call stage.getViewport.apply to apply the viewport. Then we call stage.act to make sure that our actors are being acted upon. And then we do stage.draw to render the actors that's within our stage. It's the most important, we call stage.dispose. This is most important because we need to dispose of the actors when we're done using them. This is very useful when it comes to a transition towards a game screen. LibGX applies a class called game. It implements the application listener as well as including two methods such as set screen and get screen. Now let's start by adding components to our stage. First, we want to create a new table. Now why use a table? A table is an easier way to manage actors to the position them in the correct order. Now we can create a new table like this. First we do table equals new table. Then we do table that set parent which fills the stage. Then we take the stage object and we do add actor and put the table as the parameters. Since now we have created our stage and our table, we can actually start having some fun. For now, we're gonna create a standard button. Now if you look here, you can see that the button has a parameter and this is a skin object. Now a skin object is what defines the looks of your UI. I'll talk about this more in detail in another video, but for now I'll use the myskin.json. We can load it from using gdx.internal and then we create it as a new skin object. Then we pass the skin object into the button constructor parameter. After creating the button, we can take the table object and add it and then set the different uh, settings for the button to weigh how we want to position it. Now the table object defines a lot of methods that we can take in consideration. If we middle mouse button click on the table object and then scroll down a little bit, we can see that there's quite a few methods to define. One, we can set the background of the table if we would like to. Table has an add method which we can add more actors again a button extends the actor class and defining the position of the actor such as center top and left bottom and right i'll talk more about the table class in a future video as there's quite a methods that are very important for you to design your ui with as you can see the results is a little button that's added to the stage in the table when I press it, it does this little animation of flickering. And yeah, this is the basics of Scene 2D UI. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything for today in this video. Hope you consider learning more about Scene 2D UI in the documents of the LibGDX depository. And as well as my repository, I will have the code examples shown in this video for your, available for your test purpose. Um, please. Feel free to comment down below of your thoughts about Scene 2 the UI and how it will improve your application um, looks and appearance to many users that you presented to. Um, I will have more videos covered in the future going over the framework as there's so much to include with Scene 2D UI. Alright, have a good one.